Eighty six employees, two, two and three quarter inch, yeah. Yep, two, three. Driving to a five inch. Hang on, hang on. Uh, pulley. Yeah. Yep. Driving to a, a a five inch pulley. Yep, five inch pulley. And there's an eight inch pulley. An eight driving inch pulley. to a four inch pulley. Nine inch uh, pulley driven to a nine, a nine inch. A four it? inch, oh, an four eight inch to a four inch. Yep. Pulley, yep. And a 9 inch driven to a 4.5 on the alternator. 4.5 on the alternator. So 9 inch pulley to a 4.5 inch on the alternator. Yeah. There you go, fellas. So did you say that Chaz didn't want to give you anything away? There you now, go. Now, the revs of this yep. motor, according yep. to the manufacturer, is 1430. 1430 revs. And if you calculate that all out, yep. you'll come at 3146 on the alternator. Which will be just over 50 hertz. Yeah, the but they told me yep. that to drive it at least at least uh, uh, 0.3 or point. No, yeah, we, oh, they told me always to drive it higher than the 3,000 revs. Yeah, we don't know what this weighs, but no, I'd say, no, but no, guessing no. probably about four, four, four kilos, five, four, kilos, five, five, four, five or five or more than that. About seven kilos. I would say that that flywheel yep. would weigh in the vicinity of ten about, to twenty. Kilos. Yeah, it'd be closer to ten to twenty. So, say as a as a as a base, but say it's, it's more um, plausible to say ten instead of twenty, or oh yeah, yeah, ten. It, it's about ten kilo. Ten kilo. But that's, that's and as that, I that's said in that letter, and there, as yeah. I said in that letter, that my my yeah. pulley ended up seventy two inches thick, oh, which okay. is there's, so, yeah. there's, what there's, there's six there's six layers of twelve mil custom board, right? Yep. Six layers of. 12 mil custom yep. board, right? 12 mil custom, yep. Which is 72, right? So that's a two and three quarter that's inch That's a two and pulley. three quarter. I had a three inch pulley on yep. there, then I changed it to a four and a half. Yep. But with the four and a half, because a lot of people will say the bigger the pulley, the easier it is to spin. Yep. Well, that is in one sense, that's true. Yep. Uh, but in another sense, it doesn't allow for too much wind up. You know, you can overload the system with a big pulley because the belt itself requires that much traction, you know. Yeah. It's hard to loosen that sort of... Whereas this, I can get that to spin in the belt as you've seen it yeah. without doing any damage to the motor. Yeah, to well, really not, yeah, not yeah, exactly yeah. doing damage, but I don't want the motor overloading while I'm trying yeah. to work it, build yeah. it up. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot more simpler, Chaz. Well, can use, it in, what right? you can also do... Is um, you can have permanent tension on there and use a variable frequency oh, drive. Oh yeah, that's yeah. another thing. Yeah. So you start off one hertz, two hertz, three hertz, yeah. up he to fifty hertz. There's better ways of doing it. I said there probably is. We, we've got two hundred hertz. Yeah. I'm only experimenting yeah. with this. Yeah. The easiest yeah. way for me to do it was have loose belts, yeah. like both of them are loose. Yeah. But that doesn't mean to say. You and know, that's the clutch there. And in this, I just wind it up, yeah. and I and this little thing here is purely a guide, so is it. Tries to come up straight. I put down plus a spring to put a bit of tension. Naturally, it'll want to tip over with the once you get the tension on the pulleys, right? Yeah. So I just put that there to so as it would lift up. So and that's, that's not doing anything. That's, that's, that's doing nothing. That maybe that'll add to some centrifugal force. Oh well, it, it probably adds a little, a little bit. bit.